Hello, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith, and today I'm going to do something eh, just a little experimental. Not really sure. I have some chicken thighs, and I thought I wanted to do something with a Asian flavor, leaning towards Chinese, with some lovely um, oyster sauce, and a few other flavors. So maybe some dried mushrooms. So we'll see how it goes. First thing we're going to do is marinate our chicken. So I'm going to start off by chopping it into smaller pieces. And if there's any large amounts of fat on it, I'm going to take that off. So these are bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. And we're just going to... Oh. Hopefully there's no bone shards left in there. Okay. And this is pretty much why I started the YouTube channel. Because quite often when I'm making dinner, I don't have a recipe. I'm just winging it. And then I don't write down what I did. And somebody asks me, weeks or months later, oh, could you make that again? My response is pretty much, uh, nope, because I have no idea what I put in it. So I decided I had to start paying attention or writing down what I was putting in things. So we're going to put a little bit of coarse salt in The cat is sitting down here patiently waiting for treats. And we're going to do some chicken bouillon. A little sugar just to help caramelize the skin. And some oyster sauce. Uh, here it comes. Now I may have to uh, Okay, so rinse the bottle with some water. I do want it fairly thin. I don't want it really thick sauce anyway, so. And then we're just going to massage everything in there. Mm, that already smells wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna leave that aside. Put it in the fridge. And it's early, so it's going to be in the fridge for several hours. The second step in my interesting experiment here is going to be some soaking some dried mushrooms. And these are button mushrooms that I did I dried rather than let them go moldy in the fridge. So I'm just going to break off the stems because those are really brittle and hard and put the mushrooms in a bowl and have some water heating we're not going to bring it to the boil, we just want it hot, we don't want it boiling normally I would use dried shiitakes or some woodier mushrooms or something but I searched my cupboards and I appear to be out of those so Fortunately, I did have my dried button mushrooms. As soon as the water gets hot, we're going to pour that in there. Now, you're either going to have to um, submerge the mushrooms or come and continue stirring them in the water or they're really not going to get very well hydrated so we're going to just put that on there I am going to have to I am going to have to come and get these ones that are poking up the sides and stirred back in but that should work for most of them. 
And once they're rehydrated, we are going to slice them and we're going to save the water because that's going to go in to make our sauce. Let me put our chicken in the oil. We are going to pat it dry. Just keep an eye on it. You don't want it getting too brown. Chickens had long enough. Um, our oil was not hot enough to crispify it. But it is cooked. And has taken on a little color. So we're going to remove it from the oil. I am going to pour off most of the oil. Then we're going to add Then we're going to add the green onions and chopped garlic. And let that get to a nice aromatic mmm. Oh, it's lovely. Then we have a bowl of peppers, sweet peppers and onions. We're going to let those cook a bit. Our vegetables are getting nice and soft. We are going to add the chicken back in. Make a space in the bottom there so that the chicken can get down in the heat. And we're going to add in some carrots and broccoli. And our soaked mushrooms. Just going to give that a little while to get nice and happy in the pan. So it doesn't take very long for our chicken bits to get nice and brown once we put them back in the pan. But we do want our vegetables to get a little more cooked. So I'm just going to give them a little stir. Get the chicken back down on the bottom so we can keep getting some color on it. Now I did reserve the liquid from the um, soaked mushrooms. Not sure we're going to need it, but it would add a lot more flavor if we could use it. I want the broccoli to get a little more cooked before I add my snow peas. Our last addition is some snow peas. So you throw them on top there. And I'm going to get this stir in. Get back in there. Mm. It's starting to look wonderful. 
smells delicious. Let's try a carrot. I think they're getting soft. Yep, still has some crunch to it, but definitely the raw edge is gone. Now if you want more of a sauce to it, you add the water from the soaked mushrooms and maybe a little tapioca starch or cornstarch to thicken it. But I don't think it really needs it. We'll have some rice cooking on the back here. My little rice steamer is burbling away. Want to make sure the broccoli gets done. I like broccoli raw, but when I'm looking for a hot dinner, I kind of want it at least a little bit tender. So tonight's experiment turned out pretty good. It is another stir fry. Um, chicken with um, oyster sauce and a few other ingredients some nice vibrant vegetables and I did make some steamed rice to go with it throw on a few sesame seeds and you have a beautiful colorful nutritious meal thank you so much for watching I hope you liked the video do stir fry your vegetables and chicken and so good so healthy if you liked the video give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the bell icon and you'll know when I put up a new video have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching I'll see you again soon